Why there are still no indictments in Hillary's email scandal remains a mystery. There is so much corruption that it's taking over 150 FBI agents just to investigate it all. So much evidence has been compiled that high-level FBI officials are saying they'll walk out if there's no indictment. Hillary has done her best to play down her criminal activity going so far as to mock one reporter who asked about the possibility of her wiping the server, saying what, with a cloth? And now even more information about her scandal has come out. We all know about Hillary's private server and not only the fact that classified documents were found on it, but she directed her staff to remove the classified label from classified documents and send them by non-secure means to her unsecured server. But the scandal doesn't end there. Her private server had a backup in the form of a mirror server housed over at the Clinton Crime Foundation. That means there were two unsecured servers containing classified material available for the whole world to hack into. And we now have evidence of cutting and pasting content from classified documents into emails that were found on Hillary's server. So where is the indictment? Well, former Speaker of the House Tom DeLay went on Newsmax and said the FBI is just about ready to recommend one. I have friends that are in the FBI and they tell me they're ready to recommend an indictment. And they also say that if the Attorney General does not indict, they're going public. So one way or another, either she's going to be indicted and that process begins, or we try her in the public eye with her campaign. One way or another, she's going to have to face these charges. Not good news for Hillary Clinton, who is still desperately trying to act like there's nothing to see here. She's still trying to con the country into voting for her, and the last thing she needs is for all the evidence to go public. According to FBI officials, there will be screaming if prosecution is not sought, seeing as how many corruption cases have been successfully prosecuted with far less evidence. The only roadblock now is President Obama. It'll be interesting to see if he orders his DOJ to move forward with charges or if he tries to protect her. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.